please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup. This is. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. So it has been quite a while since I've done a Hockey 101 video, so I figured why not do one today and uh, keep adding to that series. So today we are going to talk about breaking out of the defensive zone. And there's, uh, there's a, many different ways to break out of the defensive zone. It would be an hour-long video trying to go through all of them. I want to talk about some of you know base the most basic simple breakouts that um that you know I definitely have experience with playing hockey for 12 years that we used pretty much throughout my entire hockey career from youth hockey all the way up through high school these this what these were the basic um uh breakout techniques that we used and um you know it all there's lots of different variations and things like that but they all kind of stem from the same idea so Let's see, we got the defensive zone here. Here's the blue line, the circles, the, the goal line, and the crease. You know, crudely drawn, but you guys get the idea. And here we are with a defensive zone setup. And for the sake of this video, uh, we're going to say the right defenseman has the puck in the corner here. So this is setting up the breakout. Defenseman gets the puck, and now we're starting to move the other way. Um, so right defenseman has the puck in the corner. Left defenseman covering the front of the net where he should be. Center back there and then you have the wing on the wall here and you have the wing covering the high slot the offside wing covering the high slot that's at least how we played defense uh when i you know in high school when i played hockey so um I feel like this is a pretty basic uh defensive zone coverage right here and and pretty much what a lot of a lot of teams do um now there are multiple there's really two different breakouts that i want to talk about you can go through the middle or you can go up the wall and um uh, we're going to start with going up the wall because this is the safer one. This one is the one that gets the puck out of the zone, usually the cleanest, and the one that uh, certainly has a lot less um, uh, danger factor to it. If, you, if you're going to go up the middle, you better be damn sure it's going to work. So let's talk about the, the more uh, used, safer option, which is going up the wall. So the right D has the puck here. Um, and he's just going to send that puck up the boards to the right wing there who could really be anywhere from down by the circle here all the way up to maybe at the point depends on again there's no set hockey's a free-flowing game there's no like set set plays where you're going to be in this exact spot at this exact time it usually doesn't work like that um, there's there's you know it's just constantly free flowing. You have to react to what the other team is doing. You have to find openings on the ice, open areas. That wing could be all the way up at the point. That wing could be all the way down here. It depends. But for the sake of this, let's say he gets a puck here right about the top of the circle. So that puck goes up to the right wing. Now the right wing has options because there's going to be a defenseman right here. Uh, most likely if the play is normal and what's happening, there's going to be a defenseman right here. Now the wing has the option of either catching the center, going up through the middle, and then the wing will break out with them. That's uh, pretty common. The wing will fan out a little bit and come up the ice. The center will break through the middle. And then the right wing here, who now has the puck, if the, if the avenue is there, you want to try and hit that center streaking through the middle. If you can make that pass, if that pass is open and no one's going to pick it off, you want to hit the center through the middle there, and then the center takes a puck into the neutral zone, and we're broken out of the zone. What you do from there, again, that's a, that's a topic for a different video. Uh, but as far as the breakout goes, there you go. You, you're out of the zone. Or... If that pass is not there, maybe the defenseman here is cheating towards the middle or, or the center has a back-checking forward right on them and they can't receive a pass or they can't get the puck out, then you have the option of just chipping it off the wall and out the zone and out of the zone. And, you know, you, you want to have options and you want to make the right decision and choose the right option for when you're breaking out because what you do not want to do is turn the puck over. But basically... Send it up the you get the puck up to the winger and then the winger either chips it out of the zone off the boards here 
uh, by the defenseman and the puck's out into the neutral zone. Or if it's available, the winger sends a pass to the streaking center through the middle of the zone and uh, the center takes it out and you're on now on the offensive rush through the neutral zone and into the offensive zone. So that is breaking out um, up, up the wall, which is the safer uh, most common, I think, breakout in, in hockey at many different levels. Um, you want to just get it up the boards and get it out of the zone. Now, let's change things up here. Um, just quickly erase all of this. Let's say the right D has the puck, but you have the ability to go through the middle. Okay, um, and now this is dangerous. If you're a young hockey player, I would definitely... Not necess not really suggest doing this it, at any level. Do not do this unless you are a 100% sure. Because if this goes bad, if you go through the middle of your own defensive zone and you turn the puck over, it's very likely going to end up in the back of your own net and you're very likely to be sitting on the bench for a while after because that, that is not the time or place to turn the puck over. So let's say whatever the, the other team is doing, the offensive team is doing, you have an opening through the middle. So the right D then sends the puck up to the center. And the center's got the puck here right about in his own slot. And that's a scary spot to have the puck. But if you can do it, um, you have options here. And that's the biggest thing with this middle breakout is you have a lot of options. So the center gets the puck. He's going to start skating it forward. As he moves forward, he's got really three different options here. He can go left on this winger, who again is probably fanning out and moving out of the zone. He can go, he can pass to the right on this right wing, who's going to start moving out of the zone. Or he can just keep skating it himself. And what you do there is very, very dependent on what's in front of you, what the other team is doing, what is available. If, if the you know, again, there's likely to be two defensemen here. You're going to have a D-man here and a D-man here for the offensive team. If they stick with the wingers, then the centers get home free to at least get out of the zone, if not carry the puck all the way through the neutral zone, just him or herself. And and he can he and she can just take it out themselves and, and carry the puck until they get pressured or have a reason to get rid of it. If one of the defensemen start cheating or coming to the middle... Um, and, and and try and take that center away. Then you pass to whichever winger um, the, the the D cheats off of. So if the D if the D cheats off of, if the right side D cheats off of the left wing and starts to come to the middle, chip that puck to the left wing, and now the left wing's on a break, probably all alone, uh, or at least two on one with the right wing and that one last defenseman. You can catch defensemen, you know, stepping up in bad spots in these situations. The right, if the left defenseman cheats off the right wing and goes to the middle to take that center skating uh, availability away, chip it to the right wing, right wing up the wall, home free, probably a two-on-one going the other way, or at least a three-on-two going the other way. So, um, you know, you, you've got a, a lot of options through the middle here if you're the center. You can pass to the left, you can pass to the right, or you can just skate it yourself and, and get the puck out on your own. It really depends on what the the D, the other team gives you the four checking team gives you the problem is you cannot turn the puck over because if you go through the middle and like i said if you turn the puck over it's a very good chance to end up in the back of your own net and that would not make your coach happy not make you happy and uh and it would it would be a problem so again the safer way is to go up the boards as we talked about first uh, and then chip it to the middle when the opportunities there or just chip it out of the zone depending on what the defense gives you that is a a very you know clean uh very uh, effective breakout and, and gets the puck out most of the time a more a a more dangerous breakout is going through the middle, but it gives you more off, off uh, options offensively coming through the neutral zone and uh, could really lead to some good transition and odd man rushes offensively as you break out of your own zone. So more dangerous, but higher, uh, I think, offensive potential than the up the wall is more uh, more safe, more effective, higher, higher um, rate of, of uh, success. But, um, you know, I don't think you, you get you don't get quite as good of the offensive opportunities out of it. Generally, that's just a chip it out and uh, and regroup type thing. So 
Um, those, those are the two simplest breakouts um, of coming out of your own zone. Obviously, there's lots of variations to this. Uh, a lot of things can be tweaked here or there. But as far as basic breakout um, uh, setup, this is generally what you see at many, many levels of hockey. And they use it you know, all the way up at the NHL level, all the way down to when you're five or six years old just learning to play hockey. Um, th this is your basic setup. So that is... Uh, how you break out of your zone a couple of different ways uh and that's going to do it for this hockey 101 episode hopefully you guys um you know can can see that when you're watching games you can kind of see the setup and the way that they get out and uh, the different options and opportunities they have for passing the puck chipping the puck skating the puck there's a lot of different ways to get out of your own zone um, but with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.